me. It's another windy day. It's 32 degrees. Hi. Hi. Going swimming. Can you see me? Hello. He just woke up. Hello. Hey, George. Man. Go back to the car. It's time for lunch. <laughs> Hi. It's so many hours later. Um, me and George slept the entire afternoon. We woke up at like just before six o'clock. So he is up. Lana's in bed. She's fast asleep. She was really well behaved today. Um, but yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do with this guy. He's awake. We might take him for a ride. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so me and George are in the car. Hi. Dan and Lana are asleep, but George is wide awake. So I'm gonna go run a couple errands. It is literally like after 8 o'clock. Bad mum. <laughs> well, so we're the chemist and uh, some other place, I can't remember where I was going, but yeah, we're gonna go do that. Where are you going? No. We just managed to go to Kmart before it shut. This is what you get when you sleep in, in your afternoon nap. <laughs> Hello? It works! That's really cool. Alright, we're driving home. This is really weird that, like, I have a camera going, but... Bring it on. What you waiting for now? What you wait? It's a big bird. So I figured I could um do a, a quick backstory on myself. I'm pretty sure I've done this before. Oh my god, you can't see me in the dark. Kind of a get to know me vlog since you know I didn't vlog much today. Um I started vlogging when I don't know, I was pregnant with Nana and I just jumped on YouTube once and I saw this um person that I follow. I saw her vlogging her daily life and I was just hooked. I was hooked immediately. And she was like naturally just talking to the camera and she was kind of going through the same things that I was going through. It resonated with me. So I just decided to start doing it myself and I found joy in it. So I really love vlogging. Me on the road like now when there's cars beside me, but I don't care. I'm just gonna pretend that they don't exist. <laughs> I found TikTok, that was fun. But YouTube, I felt like I could really tell my story. I just want to share a bit of that because I've been through a lot. I'm a big advocate for mental health. I'm personally, not like professionally, I battled with depression for a long time. I moved out on my own. 
away from all my family and I got depression because I was so used to having people around me, especially my family, um, and that all just stopped. So when it got quiet, I got really down. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just driving and talking, waiting for my son to go to sleep. Um, I then met Bryce and we fell in love and I got pregnant and I was the happiest human being I'd ever been until a few weeks later when I lost it. That was a really hard thing to go through, um, something that I'd never thought would happen to me. It didn't feel like it mattered because I was less than eight weeks pregnant. So it was really hard because I felt like I was alone in that grief because no one understood it. And then it happened two more times. So I had three miscarriages before my daughter came along. And then when I got pregnant with her and she survived miraculously, I put a lot of pressure on myself to be perfect. I had to be this perfect mum. I worked, you know, I lost three babies before her and I didn't know what to expect now. My brain was thinking I'm going to lose her the whole time. Every day I woke up afraid that I was going to miscarry until I went into labour with her. Then her birth was just a whole other story which I will put into another vlog. Um, but yeah, she arrived safely and then I developed postnatal depression, but I kind of think it was just depression. I was at home with a newborn baby on my own, by myself, for a long time. My husband worked away majority of the time and I struggled um, receiving help, the kind of help that I wanted. I had help, but I always felt like shit when I got help. If that makes sense, I don't know. I couldn't relax. And I know that's normal for all mums out there that do that, like that get mum guilt and stuff. Like that thing is real. Mum guilt is real. Dealing with the three miscarriages um, is, is a lot in itself. And then I had a newborn baby to keep alive. And I had no idea what I was doing. And I felt so alone and I hit rock bottom a lot. And I pushed my family um, away and I put them through a lot but most of all I put my daughter through it all and I will spend the rest of my life trying to make up for it. I gave her to my cousin for a while and I really needed that break and I'm so blessed that I was able to get that break um, and then it was time for me to take her back and I took her back. I removed all the toxic out of my life and I was on this healing journey. It just took a lot for me to find my feet as a mother and I had to hit rock bottom in order to do so. And I feel like I'm doing a good job these days. It's, it's still a challenge every day. After all of that, got pregnant twice after Lana Jade and I miscarried those two times. So all up, I had five miscarriages and it's been really hard to deal with. I feel like I'm mentally stable enough to be able to process all of that to be able to heal from all of that on the road again i thought you were asleep and then i got pregnant with george next time i talk about this i'm gonna write some notes because i feel like i'm just all over the place god's asleep george he basically was a very healthy pregnancy but he is he's a big eater now he was a big eater in my belly and i felt like he ate my insides I don't know if anyone's felt like that before, but that's how I felt in this pregnancy. I felt like he ate my insides, he was just so hungry. And when he was born, he screamed, because he went into the NICU for a, a night. Um, and apparently he screamed down the place. And they were urging me to go down there after a C-section to um, try and feed him. But my milk hadn't come through because he wasn't... He didn't come out naturally, so it does take a little bit longer for people with C-sections for their milk to come through if they haven't done any prep beforehand, like me. <laughs> I am tired. We haven't had any more pregnancies, so, you know, we're having a big break and I don't even know if we'll have any more kids. Get out of my way, stupid car. I am positive. I have a positive mindset. I feel like I'm healing from all that pain and grief. And like, if I ever get low again, I know how to deal with that. I know how to, what I need from other people. And I know how to ask for help. My kids are benefiting from me being mentally stable because I'm able to be the mum that I want to be.
and I get to do all this cool stuff with the kids which I didn't really appreciate before because I had this big pressure that I had to go back to work financially it was a big stress but at the moment we're uh, staying afloat on one wage and I'm grateful for that because I get to make all these beautiful memories with my kids hopefully one day they'll look back on it and learn something from it I guess I don't know probably that my mum's an idiot <laughs> put a bit of depth into my vlogging because I don't feel like you guys know the real me and I know there's only 16 subscribers who I'm talking to and hi to every single one of you thank you guys for watching I really appreciate it I don't know I like vlogging it brings me joy I don't care if no one's listening I get to look back on this one day and feel proud of myself you can't see me it's dark hello we're back hi can you see me now I like making memories and I make it public because I don't know maybe one day someone will listen to my story and be like oh my god that girl's been through the same thing that I've been through and who knows it might help someone it is asleep so we're gonna go home and then I'm gonna edit this vlog and then I'm gonna go to bed but happy day seven guys day seven of vlogmas uh, tomorrow's Thursday I don't really know what we're doing other than the groceries but we're gonna do something I think we're gonna make um, some Christmas themed foods tomorrow so that should be fun until then have a good night enjoy my little vlog and um, have a good night. Bye.